Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. My name is Latia B and today's video is part three of the Camille Rose Naturals hair products series. So part one, I showed you guys the Around the World collection, which is the hair treatment and the um, hair oil. And then in part two, I showed you guys some of the products from the original Camille Rose Naturals product line. But today I'm going to be reviewing the coconut water line. So I have several products from this line, including the coconut water penetrating hair treatment. I also have the coconut, wild, coconut water style setter. And lastly, I have the coconut water leave-in detangling hair treatment. And all of the products pretty much claim to be a concentrated product um, that will have your hair feeling shiny, silky, and soft. So if you've been watching my channel, then you know that my hair does not get along very well with coconut oil. But I haven't actually used anything that has coconut water in it or like coconut water as the main ingredient. So this is going to be the perfect test to determine how my hair responds to coconut water versus like those other products that have, may have a high coconut oil content. I don't have the shampoo or actually I don't even know if there is a shampoo that goes with this line. Um, so instead I wash my hair with the Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse and I actually reviewed this product in the part two of this series but y'all um, I think I may have changed my mind about this cleansing rinse after using it this time today. So first things first, I'm going to use the penetrating hair treatment. This is a conditioning treatment, so it's like a deep treat. Um, excuse me, a deep conditioning treatment. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my hair first. This is what the product looks like, and this is the con ooh, it's super thick. This is the consistency of it. Mmm. This product has such a light scent like it is so refreshing <laughs> to use a product with such a light scent it's like a hint of coconut like literally just a hint it's like not super coconutty it's just like i don't even know it's so light though like i'm mm, i'm liking this already it is so light and i do have warm water in my water bottle just to help open up the um, hair cuticle so again, this is the um, what the product looks like. You can see that it is really thick. And I'm gonna start by applying the product to the ends of my hair and working my way up. Going on, it feels really good. Like it's super easy to apply, super easy to detangle my hair. I feel like there's really good slip in this product. Like it's a perfect amount of slip for me. So I actually feel like I don't even need to apply like a whole lot of product to each section. Um, I feel like that first section I may have even applied too much product. Um, not that, that that is a bad thing or anything like that, but y'all know that Camille Rose Naturals can be a little pricey. So I do like that I can actually just use a smaller amount of um, this product to nicely coat all of my strands. Coated all of my hair with the product and my curls are looking so good so far. This is how much of the product that I used. So there's still a good amount left in there. <clears throat> I could get at least two, probably even three more uses out of this. Like that's how much I have left. Even though I used a generous amount when I applied it to my hair, I still have a lot of the product left. Um, so it does say to leave it on for five minutes, then cool, rinse the seal in moisture, or for extra hydration, you can apply a plastic cap or sit under a steamer for 20 minutes. Um, yeah, so I'm going to actually <clears throat> steam my hair. And as you all know, I don't have like a big steamer. Well, you may not know actually. Um, in one of my other videos, as a matter of fact, I believe it was the Around the World collection, I showed y'all the little hack where you can use the portable steamer to steam your hair. So that is what I am about to do.
All right, my hair is all nice and steamed. So it took me about 12 minutes to steam all of my hair. So about six minutes on each side. What I did was I filled up my steamer and then did half my hair and then filled it up again into the other half. Um, that way I can get a nice steam on my whole head. Um, and my hair really feels so good. Like it feels so soft and it's super hydrated. So I'm really excited to see what it's gonna be like after I rinse this product out. What I do wanna say is that if you decide to use this hack, please use caution. If you are not an adult, I don't advise that you try this, but if you are an adult and you wanna try this out, I definitely say to be very careful because the water does get super hot. So you don't wanna just like concentrate it on your face or concentrate it on your scalp because you don't wanna get burned. Also be careful when you're opening the lid to refill it because you don't want any, to, any of the hot water to drop out and um, touch your foot or anything like that. Like did on mine actually i think i might end up with a blister <laughs> on my foot because it definitely dripped down on my foot and it hurts pretty bad but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out now and then when i come back we can see what my results are like my hair is freshly washed and freshly deep conditioned and it feels and looks so good i don't know if it was a deep conditioner I don't know if it was a deep conditioner along with the steam treatment, but what I can say is I'm about to start steaming my hair every time I do a deep conditioning treatment. So I'm gonna do a steam treatment at least once a week because y'all, I wish you can feel my hair. It feels so good. Oh, oh my goodness. And those products, like remember how I was telling you it has a really light scent? Like my hair smells my hair smells good, like, oh, it smells so good. Oh, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get into the styling portion. So I'm going to be using the styling setter. As I mentioned before, this one smells just like the deep treatment, which is good, has a very light scent. Um, and then the, if I get it open to get the thing out, the leave-in detangling treatment. Let's see how it smells. So this one has more of a, has more scent to it than the other two products in my personal opinion. Like it still smells really good and it still has like that light coconut scent, but it smells so good. And I actually am happy that it has a little more scent to it because although I'm sensitive to scents, I feel like these are a little too light, but I feel like the um, fragrance of the Lehman Detangling Hair Treatment is just perfect. Like it is just spot on. So I'm going to start out by just oiling my scalp. For my style, I'm actually going to do like chunky three strand twists. I haven't done three strand twists in a very long time, but I really like the definition that they give my hair. I feel like the curl pattern that I get doing three strand twists is a little more natural looking than the curl pattern I get when I just do two strand twists. So I'm gonna try that style out since it has been a while. And then at the end of each twist, I'm actually gonna add perm bras just because I want a more uniform um, curl at the end. So I'm gonna start out by using the leave-in detangling hair treatment. And something that's interesting, so I've definitely learned my lesson about Camille Rose Naturals products if you watched part two of this series um, when it comes to reading the labels. And something that's interesting is that um, you can use this as both a co-wash or rinse-out conditioner in addition to leave using it as a leave-in. So I think that's really cool that this one product has three different uses. So it does say to apply it to wet hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my spray bottle. And I don't want my hair to be soaking wet. I know it says to add it to wet hair, but I don't want to wake up in the morning and my hair not be completely dry. So I'm just going to lightly spritz it just to get it a little bit moist. So this is what the product is like. It kind of just reminds me of like your usual like creamy moisturizer. So I'm going to go ahead and focus it on the ends of my hair first and then work my way up. Oh wow, look at this. Like I haven't even done much of anything to it and my curls are already super nice. So I am going to use my faux Denman brush today. And lastly, I'm going to apply just a little bit of the style setter because this product is much thicker than the leave-in. So I don't want it to be have my hair have product overload. So I'm gonna just start out with a small amount. Okay, and then for the three strand twist, 
I like to start with two strands like at the base of my hair just to make sure it stays and then I will separate my hair into three and um, three strand twists are pretty I want to say complicated but pretty much what you do is you have your three strands and this strand you just cross it over and move that one to the middle in the position that that one was just in so we have one two and three so you cross three over and now two becomes three cross it over and then just repeat that process and if y'all want a more in-depth video of how to do three strand twists, I can definitely do that. Um, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna just go pretty quick. <laughs> So as you can see, I have quite a bit of product on my fingers as well as on the perm rod. So I think I'm going to try to use less for the next twist because I think I might have used a little too much. All right, y'all. So I have completely put in all of the twists, all of the perm rods. It took me about 30 minutes-ish to do it. Um, so far, I love this line. My hair feels so hydrated actually a little too hydrated i don't think my hair is going to be completely dry in the morning so i'm going to go sit under my dryer for about an hour or two hours before i go to bed and then of course as usual i will come back um in the morning for the takedown and give you guys my final thoughts so it is the next day and i'm just going to go ahead and take my scarf off so now i'm just going to go ahead and take off the perm rods All right, so all the perm rods have been removed and all of the ends have like this nice coil. At least most of them anyway. Some of them just still kind of did their own thing, but it's cool. Um, so now I'm just going to take off some of these rings. And I'm going to put some oil in my hand. I don't know where my Camille Rose Naturals oil went, so I'm going to use a different one that I have. And I'm just going to uh, make sure that I'm covering my hands. Ooh and just kind of putting the oil on my hair and then I'm just going to start by unraveling my hair in the back. So you can see the curl pattern of the three strand twist like I really love this curl pattern so much more than two strand twist I just feel like it's way more defined um compared to when i do two strand twists so now i'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit more oil to my hair just so i can separate out each section and y'all know my hairstyle is not complete until i pick my hair out so So this is the final look, y'all, and I'm really feeling it. Y'all see how there's these coils at the end of my twists? I really like that effect. I've actually never used perm rods on the ends of my twists or my braids or anything of that sort before. So I'm definitely feeling like how this um, turned out this go round actually i'll take that back i did the flat twist with the perm rods in that didn't go so well but i definitely like this method way better um as far as our products go i love them everything in this line i loved from the hair treatment to the um, style setter to the leave-in detangling conditioner like it was all so bomb and i cannot wait to try these products out on different styles unfortunately that was the end of my camille rose natural product series um those are all the products that i've had so it has now been three parts so make sure that if you have not watched part one and part two you go ahead and do so like y'all i have absolutely loved all of these products you know what there's actually one product that i didn't really get to review fully that was a conditioning custard and if you watch part two was it part two yeah if you watched part two then you will understand why i did not get to review the conditioning custard um i think i may have some more some more of those packets so i actually may be able to do one more part in this series but if not i hope that y'all really enjoyed it 
Um, I feel like my hair responded very well to the coconut water. Like it responded very differently than it responds to products with coconut oil. And I'm surprised, but I'm happily surprised because I know that I can now use products that have coconut water in it on my hair. So that is really good. Um, but yes, I'm rambling right now. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. If you guys have tried the coconut water line from Camille Rose Naturals, let me know down in the comment section below. Or if there are other Camille Rose products um, that you really like that I have not reviewed in this series, then please let me know that as well. I know that they have their skincare line now, so maybe I'll do like a Camille Rose Naturals skincare series. If you're down for that, let me know in the comment section. <laughs> but if you enjoyed this video and enjoyed this series, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Do not, do not, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. It means so much to me. And I have a super bomb giveaway to do once I hit 1K. I'm not quite there yet, but I am close to 700. So if you don't mind and you, you know, really enjoy my content, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that, you know, we can get a little closer to that 1K mark. <laughs> With that being said, though y'all i will see y'all in my next video i hope that you all have a wonderful day and don't forget to stay dazzling